welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we will make a nice object tracking program. So let's install our required modules. Plus, I have some module fixes for the object tracking. So first, let's install these modules. Then we can get into the fixes part. So just insert all these are modules. Just so this is my fix file. I will give these websites link in the description and these fixes also in the description. Just paste it over here. Yes and end. Okay. So when it does everything, you can come back over here and just write the code. I will say here import cv2 capture equals to cv2 dot video capture. Here you need to specify your camera index. In my case it's 0 means the first webcam. If you want to use your second webcam you can specify 1. I will keep it on 0. Right over here I will say here underscore and the image. Means our processing image that we need guys. Just over here say cap dot read. Then just go more down. Right over here guys, just say here, I am show the image, okay, right over here I am showing my image and next thing is to add the weight key as well, okay, so if I run this, it should work fine guys, okay, again it's taking a bit of time because of the video recording is going on the FPS could be a bit down. There we go. We have a video capture. You can see my camera works. Still on proper FPS. So let's go on the main tracking part. Just create here tracker. Okay. The fix we applied was only to create the tracker. From which we could track the objects from the CV2 guys. Just say here most. I, we will use most tracker. I will show you more trackers afterwards. Okay. Right, right now, we need to see a tracker with a perfect FPS. So this is my tracker. If I show you, it should work fine. If the fixed works, then this will work fine, guys. Okay. There we go. So again, you can see that it works fine. Okay. Now next thing that I have to do is select the tracking object that the user wants to track. So for that just copy this and hop it over here. Actually it should be before we create the capture. Okay just hop it over here and just after we create our tracker here you can see that pb box equals to select select roi in that type the window name i will say it as tracker in my case and then the image and then show cross hair here i will say false okay so if i run it it will show a new window with the selection that we have done and when we select you will get some instructions when we use this function okay so you can see these in instructions select the ru and then press spacebar or enter so right now in my case it will show us our first image and hit enter so as you can see that this bottle is nothing is happening but we are able to select to select things using the ROI function. Next thing is to initialize the tracker. This should make no difference, but this will make difference afterwards for tracking. Okay, so this is the main tracking path that we need. So I will give the tracker the selection that we have did. Okay, and in the while loop, what I will just do? Say here success. Because I want to get the success means 
if the ob there is no object if i remove that object it should show that the object is lost okay that's the thing that i want to do here i will say equals to here i need to say tracker dot update arguments are just the image okay till now it's very simple okay if the object is tracked and it's on the screen then what you can just do is do the drawing part one I will say here pass else what you can just do is show in text that the object is lost okay here I need to specify the image first and then the text so right now the text should be like uh, Let's make it like status equals to lost. Okay. And the position, let's let's keep it at 40 by 50. Okay. Font face, I will say cvd dot font Hershey simplex. Okay, I will use this font. And then the font scale, let's keep at 0.9. Because it will come very huge afterwards. The color should be red because it's a warning that the object is lost. And the thickness, let's keep it at 2. And if there is any success, what you can just do? It just showed that the status is working. Or let's name it found. Okay, working will be better. Let's keep it at working. And the color should be at green because it's the success. Okay, so the color will be green when the we get the object as working. So let's try this out. Okay. Okay. Right now we are doing it in the uh, with the easiest way. If you don't know. So here is our first camera capture. Just hit enter. It says working. Okay. Okay. If it's in table, if I just remove that object. Wait. If I just remove that object, still is showing working. So what's the issue with this? Okay. I found the issue. What the issue was that I didn't select the object properly. That's why. Uh, Okay, again, let's wait for it till it runs. Here we go. It runs. And then just select the object. And hit enter. Okay. So, okay. So, the problem is that... I'm not selecting it properly because it's not in the background that I want. Now it should work fine guys right now. Okay. Okay. Nice. Let me just select it properly. Okay. <laughs> I missed the last one. Mm, yep this will work so as you can see it's working when I take it out lost okay and when I again bring it it didn't update it okay it's now updating okay so it's a bit problem with the FPS I will also show you because of we are using moves it's showing less accuracy but I will show you how to get more accuracy than the usual one right now what i need is to draw a rectangle right over here for the rectangle let's get oh i'll say x y width and height height equals to uh oh, let's try using for loop for let's just say here x y width height equals to okay equals to bounding box now it should just specify all the things 
and for the rectangle i will specify the image as the first argument second argument will be the x and the y and then x plus width and y plus height and then the color so the color which i always like to give is red because it looks kind of cool thickness as 3 okay now let's see that it works or not so this is our final part it will work fine okay okay there we go so now i have my image i will select it properly and press enter okay it got an error oh yeah 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 i totally forgot that it gives an float so the problem with it that i need to convert it to an integer so there is a simple solution for it is what you can just do is uh, convert them to the integers using and function which is inbuilt in the python called integer okay similarly just do this for rest all so i will use my shortcut which is built in in vs code what you can just do is press alt key and we can select multiple objects and i will just convert it to an integer okay so it worked now it will work guys so the problem was that the expected value from the rectangle to draw a rectangle is integer so we need to round up and make it a perfect integer because it's float okay so first select the okay i've selected press enter okay so now you can see that it also tracks the object if i just bring it out so it tracks okay now it says lost it working always okay, sometimes it has some problems so to fix those problems i have a solution that what you can just use that there is and one more tracker called crst that gives us less fps but the performance is too high okay so now again let's wait for it oh okay so that was i think so cr csrt something like that only that was but the problem with this is that it gives less fps but the accuracy is a lot higher that's why i like this one okay here we go wait again the object was not present properly okay again let me just press it press and proper position so the problem with this object that we should be not holding it and our hand should be not touching it so what happens that the scanning that it does of it objects that will be not much accurate again let's crop it properly yes so now you can see if i bring it out okay that was too fast for it so sometimes it is very fast we will bring it out so so again it takes some time so now you can see that it works if i made it out still it scans but if i just made it over here okay still it's not that accurate so you can mess up with these trackers there are many trackers okay so the better you found that the more accuracy you get guys so you need to found the best best of the best trackers those will work for you so right now if i just do it again you can see that it works again this time okay 
if I just scan it like that. So just remember to scan it properly. Okay, so as you can see, so the the base on your that you're holding on that works, okay? So if I just bring it out, it doesn't work. But sometimes it works for me. But right now you can mess up with the trackers if you want. So to find some trackers, I have some trackers. You can just search here for CV2 dot CV2 trackers. Okay, you will find a lot of them. But just find, just search for and perfect one on Google. You can find it. Like in CV2 object, CV2 trackers. And there, there are also many blocks like this. Okay, so you can see there are many blocks on the yes. So this time there is a boosting tracker, MIL tracker, KFC, KCF tracker, CSRT tracker, tracker, and median flow tracker. So there are many trackers right over here, but the which we have used is the most and csrt so right now i'm not showing you all of these trackers you can try by just replacing this like if you want to try mil just change it to mil it will work for the mil then you can just try on it so there is a better F, uh, explanation i will also give this blog uh, link in the description. So thanks for watching guys